Hey guys, I'm going to be introducing the comprehensive example we're going to be doing for dead and live load case. So the objective for the videos to come are going to be finding permanent and imposed actions on the slab, permanent imposed actions on joist, permanent imposed actions in girder. We're then going to be finding the maximum bending moment in shear in the girder for permanent imposed actions respectively, assuming the beam is simply supported. And then we're going to be finding permanent imposed actions in edge column C1 with and without live load reduction. Okay, so here's our problem. We have a plan which looks like this. We have columns over here. We have a floor slab. We have B1, which are known as joists. We have B2, which is a girder. And we have B3 along that edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge, which are all exterior girders. Okay, so we have an interior girder B2, an exterior girder B3, and joists B1 with a slab above all this and there's columns with 900 millimeter diameters at these edges, and this is column C1, the edge column we're eventually gonna be finding. So, it's a 10 story structure, it's an office building. The height um, from the top of the slab to the top of the slab above is four meters for the roof and floors. Uh, sorry, for the roof and floors, there is a depth of 130 mils for the concrete. The density of reinforced concrete is given as 2,500 2, kilograms per meter cubed, and we're given the gravity as 9.8 meters per second squared. So we're also given sections of each part. So section AA through B2. So section AA through B2, the slab depth, that, as we said, so you can see for each section, section AA, B, B, C, C, AA, B, B, C, C, the depth of the slab is 130 everywhere because we said that the depth of the slab is uh, 130 millimeters. Yep. So just for AA, the area of our beam, it's 1060 by 400 mils. For section BB, so, so section AA would be through uh, the girder, the interior girder B2. So if I write that in blue, so that in other words is beam two. Section BB is through beam one. So that would be the joist. So that's 300 by 400 millimeters.